What's up everybody? This is your boy Jay Phil. I make beats and I'm always trying to improve myself and as I learn, I want you guys to learn with me. So today I have another quick tip for you. I call this the pump bass style. So let's get into it. So this technique is basically a spin off the bass kick combo technique. Alright, so I have a kick right here and then a bass sound, right? And I want to again use these two notes simultaneously. So I'm going to use simo and I, I show you exactly how to do that in this video. You can check out right here. But back to this video, very, very simple. All you have to do is use simo, use these both together, but the kick here is you're going to make this bass sound kind of like fade in, like swoop in. So I'm going to show you how to do that. As usual, I'm working with an MPC 2000 XL, but whatever drum machine you have, you can use this same technique as long as you can mess with your parameters. So what you're going to do is go to your parameters page. All right. And I want my bass. This is my bass. You see the attack and you have decay. I want to change the attack so it fades in. Okay. Now you got this. And make sure this is on end. All right. The other thing, make sure your overlap is on poly okay so that means every time you hit it it's gonna like go all the way through the whole sample alright don't have it on note off or mono use poly for the bass when you combine this and when you combine this with the kick drum it's gonna create like a pumping effect so every time you hit the kick drum the bass is gonna fade in along with it so now this is the result So this was my kick, this was the bass, and now I have it sweeping in, just fading in, alright? So every time I hit this, it's going to play this at the same time, but now watch, listen. That's a dope technique to me, I don't care what nobody says, so try it out, man. Peace, I check it out on the next one.